Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. We have got to talk about the Toyota Tacoma bed. You know, there is a lot of false information out there and a lot of false beliefs about what the Toyota Tacoma bed actually is. So in a minute, we're going to go back to mine. I'm going to put you on the hat cam. We're going to rip the mat out. And I'm going to show you what it is. But I did a video, it was a live stream a few days ago, and I was talking about some of the things that you should just say no to. One of the biggest ones is the spray-in bed liner. It's a waste of money. You don't need it because the Toyota Tacoma has a composite plastic bed. It makes absolutely no sense to me to spray a bed liner in there because it's not metal. You're not really trying to protect anything. And there's also another false belief out there that this spray-in bed liner is somehow going to make it less slippery back there. That's not true. If you've ever had a spray-in bed liner, you know things slip and slide around in there just like they do without it. So I'm going to flip you over to the hat cam. We're going to take a look. I'm going to show you what the Toyota Tacoma has. This is true for both the third generation and the brand new fourth generation 2024. It has a composite bed as well. Okay, let's take a walk out here. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to go ahead and pull off uh, everything that I have in here right now. And, of course, that's the extender, which, by the way, unless you have a reason to have one of these, you're going to find that they're really more of a hassle than they're worth. At least it is for me. I never use it for anything. Now, you can see I have a bed mat in there, and I highly recommend that you get one of these. Whether you get the one that says Toyota across it, or Tacoma, or whatever, they are very handy. They do cut down, really because of the ridging and the, ridging and the plastic, a lot of the slipping and sliding. You're still going to get it. I mean, as you're moving around, things are still going to move, but it really helps out. So, let's go ahead and pull this thing out of here. I don't know what's living under there. Hopefully, nothing. I should spray it off while it's out here, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. So, you can see in the bed, and I probably will sweep this out just to get stuff from underneath. And that's the only downside, I think, to having a mat in here. You're going to get things underneath. Oh, there goes Krista. You're going to get stuff underneath the mat. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just junk under here. But what you see in front of you is the bed. This is the bed. It's not a liner. That's another false belief out there. People think that this is a liner over some sort of metal or steel or aluminum. It's not. It is the actual bed. Now, I've had these in several Tacomas over the years. I've never had any issue with them. But if you use it as a truck should be used, I guess, or many people would say anyway, throwing cinder blocks and things in there, you can have some damage. I mean, let's be honest. It is a composite plastic bed, not a liner. And it's basically a tub. This whole part sits in there. That's it. Now, if you want to know how I discovered that, a few years ago I was underneath, I think I actually had the truck up on the lift in there, and I was just nosing around, looking at the bed, I was going to do something. And as I was looking underneath, I discovered that what I was seeing is actually the bed. Right here. This is the bed. This is not some sort of a liner. And you can see that yourself. Here are the ridges in it. Here's where it ties down via bolts and things. This is the bed. I was shocked when I first discovered that. I had no idea that Toyota was putting a plastic bed in their trucks. I actually felt kind of slighted, to be honest. I felt like maybe the Tacoma was a little bit cheaper than I had initially thought, that it wasn't really a real truck because it had this composite plastic bed, that it was more of a gimmick, a toy. Then I discovered, as I mentioned over the years, it really does hold up well, and I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. Now, as far as getting back to a spray-in bed liner, I don't know, maybe, maybe you protect it from scratching a little bit. I mean, if you really get into it, it will gouge. But I would say if you're doing something that's going to cause damage to this liner, you're going to cause damage, or not liner, 
bed, you're going to cause damage to a liner as well. In other words, if you're gouging something across that spray-in bed liner, you're going to damage that just like you would the bed anyway. And the other concern I have about it, you know, really, when they spray a liner into a bed, they need to rough it up a bit. They have to give that liner something to grab onto, something to adhere to. So that means they're going to sand this a little bit with some kind of an abrasive. In essence, that's going to weaken it somewhat because it's going to reduce the thickness of the plastic, the thickness of the composite. Do you really want that? I don't know. Not something I would really want. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit, let you guys know that what you see is what you get. The bed in the truck is the bed in the truck. It is not a liner over the top of aluminum, steel, pancakes, anything else. What you see is what you get. It's the same as in the third generation. The fourth generation has the composite bed as well. I had a comment on the channel recently. Somebody told me that they believe they had seen one with a metal bed. Now, maybe one from 1937, I don't know, but not a third gen or fourth gen Tacoma. They are all composite plastic. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Were you under the impression that the bed that you see here was simply a liner with some sort of metal or something under it? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.